into the town and then you can see what Mombasa has to offer us. First of Mombasa gave me originality vibes like this is Africa. <laughs> There was quite a lot going on, starting from the streets, hawkers, uh, transportation, tourists taking pictures, wherever there were statues within the town center. Quite a lot of transportation modes here, starting from the tuk-tuks, border borders, costas, taxis, buses, etc. So it was really busy here. I imagine there's quite a lot of trade, it being at the cost. So yeah, we didn't spend a lot of time whilst in Mombasa, but then the short time we spent there would actually give you a very big picture so we were staying along nyali road and we wanted to go look at fort jesus so we decided to use a tuk-tuk whole new experience these are very comfortable guys i enjoyed my tuk-tuk experience and it was also really cheap to travel using a tuk-tuk wheels in mombasa so we went into the town center wow this place was so original <laughs> the buildings were old and yet they looked in very good shape they were so busy it looked so busy maybe because there were so many vertical buildings next to each other the streets had so uh, quite a number of cars moving here and there hawkers you know so i imagine because it's at the cost there's quite a trade must be really booming over here the real estate business must be really booming as well starting from airbnb hotel business you know the beaches so they must be making quite a lot of money since also tourists quite a number of them keep going over there well i didn't see it as a very different town compared to my motherland you know uganda but anyway yeah so we made it to the old town mombasa wow this place was so artistic i love art so i felt like mm, okay this is the place for me to go see <laughs> yeah so we reached over there and it was so old as well but my god very well maintained this door in particular looked i don't know if it's uh, where it was going to but it looked like uh, some sort of haunted house or something ah, i didn't want to have anything to do with it <laughs> but anyway it was a very beautiful piece of art this old town guys it doesn't look anything like an old town <laughs> like what well the buildings here were mainly cream uh yellow and then white which was really nice it's a nice you know it's a nice pattern then we saw africa hotel 1901 <laughs> you know uh in history in uganda we usually study about we studied about the 1900 uganda agreement uh, between the baganda and then the british so it was really interesting to see a hotel that existed in 1901 like how are you so old and still look looking in good shape <laughs> but anyway this town was a nice piece of art i liked this i actually saw i i saw um, some people were living uh we were living there in uh, the let's say the floors that way up up there is some people that were living there it looked so well maintained as well uh, the people here were friendly they kept saying hi you know in kiswahili so it was a beautiful thing so i think we're so used to so many tourists coming in and out there was an attic somewhere uh we bought some things from there unfortunately i wasn't able to take that on video we saw for uh, is it for undani i don't know if that's the spelling or that's how they pronounce it yeah but it was right there unfortunately it was locked we were not able to go in but i've seen some good number of reviews about it i was excited to go eat there but anyway yeah we were not able to see it so we headed for Fort Jesus. There was this thing that looked like it gave me genie in the bottle vibes. <laughs> yeah, so we went into Fort Jesus. This place, wow. To be that old and still be that strong, it was so fascinating and interesting, you know. So yeah, we went into Fort Jesus. It was both a sad and beautiful thing to look at, to know that uh, people a long time ago were able to put up uh, a building that is this strong i hope that the buildings that people are constructing right now can actually be able to stand 
uh, you know to stand the test of time and exist for a very long time you know yeah so it was a, uh, a beautiful place and also sad that you know so many bad things had to happen over there good things happen like trade and all but also slavery used to happen so that's not a good thing but anyways there was also uh, uh what is it called a museum over there for so many things that happened over there we also saw a skeleton of a whale and then after that we went over to the beach <laughs> it was raining but we said no we have to enjoy the indian ocean <laughs> so anyways guys that's it about our short trip to mombasa uh, next to the beach that we went to was called Nyali Beach, and there was a very beautiful resort next to it. They had very, very good fresh fish that we ate over there. Yeah, I forgot the name of the of the resort, but definitely, if you go over there, make it make sure to go eat over there. So, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, bye.